Rangers at John H. Carr Dam have uh, extra principle number eight for the leave no trace. Um, and that's all about water safety. Um, here at John H. Carr, we promote water safety every day through our patrols and, and going into our day use areas. And we have five extra tips for y'all to use when y'all are recreating at John H. Carr. Tip one, number one is always wear your life jacket. When picking a life jacket out, always inspect it to make sure there's no tears or rips on the outsides or insides of the life jacket. When putting it on, make sure you zip it all the way up. Don't just zip it halfway up. Make sure you zip it all the way up. If it has buckles, make sure you buckle them. And the adjustments, adjust them as tight as you can to get them where the life jacket will not come up over your chin if you when you jump into the water so if you can smack it and it comes up over your ears it's not the proper size make sure you have the proper size one or it will not do this proper job when you if you're needing it tip number two learn how to swim and always wear your life jacket always remember you will float but even if when you get tired uh, don't panic because when you if you panic if you will make it worse and you won't float as easy so always remember you will float if you just stay calm tip number three don't exceed your swimming abilities never chase after anything that's floating away if you have children always make sure they're wearing a life jacket at all times and never dare somebody to swim out to a buoy and or island at, like this one behind me the next tip is tip number four boater, boater safety it's a uh, Virginia state law to always have a boater safety course before you operate a boat. Uh, make sure when you are operating a boat, you always connect your kill switch to your body, preferably your foot. Um, make sure you have all your um, emergency equipment, your life jackets, they can be stored in any compartment as long as they're accessible to get to. Always have a good fire extinguisher and inspect it every two or three months to make sure it's still good and in date. Uh, always be prepared for change of weather as in storms or wind and always be checking the weather to make sure you don't get caught in, caught up. If you have um, a boat with an uh, inboard motor or even outboard, always um, be aware of carbon monoxide. Um, lastly, always know your buoys. Tip number five, know how to help somebody struggling while in the water. Uh, know how to recognize somebody drowning. Four of the signs of drowning are they'll have their mouth wide open, there'll be no sound, they'll be moving their arms and hands in and out of the water, and their head will be bobbing up and down. If you ever recognize anybody struggling in the water, we always teach reach, throw, row, don't go. And here's some examples. Uh, reach means reach out with either a fishing pole, a boating oar, anything that's strong and steady that you can reach out and they can grab and pull them in. Throw means using a throw ring as in my hand or a throw, uh, throw rope. So try not to hit them with it, throw it over their right or left shoulder so they can grab it and you can pull them in. Throw, if you're on a boat or if there's a boater nearby, ask them to come and to try to help and save. Um, the one that's in uh, stress and don't go means try, don't go after them. Try to go for help first before trying to go after them. If you're coming to John H. Carter Recreate or Boat, make sure you always follow state and federal regulations about water safety. If you have any questions, please feel free to call the VAC Visitor Center at 434-738-6143. Thank you.